हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई एम बैक विद अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग एसक्यूएल क्वेश्चन सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ न्यू फंक्शन ओके सो अलोंग द वे आई विल एक्सप्लेन द फंक्शन फर्स्ट एंड देन वी विल अप्लाई टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम ओके लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट एंड देन वी विल जंप ऑन टू द सॉल्यूशन सो द क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड द रूम टाइप्स दैट आर सर्च्ड मोस्ट नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स नाउ व्हेन यू गो टू एयरबीएनबी साइट यू अप्लाई अ फिल्टर दैट आई नीड अ शेयर्ड रूम ऑफ प्राइवेट रूम and in the check box you can apply multiple filters as well so for example this user he is searching for room types entire room and private room so while searching he would have checked the two check boxes of entire room and private room right similarly this user id 4 he searched for only private room so we have only one room type here but we can have many we can have 3 4 5 any number of room types in the search right so we have to output the room types alongside the number of searches for it so for example how many times private room was searched how many times shared room was searched right and whenever there is more than one value right if the filter for room types has more than one room type consider each unique room type as a separate row right so this has to be considered as separate row so this search will be counted in entire room also and private room also so what this is the meaning of consider each room type as separate row so if you look at the private room in the output so this is the output we have 1 2 3 so three times it was searched right shared room how many times 1 2 two times entire room two times entire room entire room right and in the last sort the result based on the number of searches in descending order so this is what we have to do right the maximum number of search on the top okay so let's let's look at a new function first that how do we deal with it so we have a string split function okay i'm going to explain this function first what it does is let me show you with an example select value from string underscore split right and i'm going to give a string here so i will say str or let's say room type only for the benefit of understanding right so let's say i want to split this okay and i am saying split this based on comma because these two values entire room and private room are separated by comma so i am saying string split this string by comma okay let's see what it will give if you see it is giving me two different rows so what this function does is it will split your string based on the delimiter and give me multiple rows right so this is how it is now if you see this is applied on a on a hard coded value fixed value fixed string right but we have to do on a column in this table how do we do it so for that we have a way of doing it let me show that to you i will say select star from airbnb searches cross apply and now i will use this function string split okay and on what column filter room type and this is my column names right so if i run this again so for column name is filter room types and i want to split it on comma so this is how i have to apply right so what it will do for each row it will split this string and give a new column value and there will be multiple rows right so for user id 1 there will be two rows first will with value as entire room second with value as private room again for user id 2 we will have two rows for user id 4 we will have only one row let's run this okay so value is a new column by default it creates so it will give us all the values plus value as well so if you look at it for user id 1 we have got two rows right entire room private room right that's what i said again for user id 2 we have two rows for user id 3 we have two rows for user id 4 we have only one row right so this is how this function works and it has made our life easy now why because we can just now do group by on value and get the aggregation so i will say value as room type right comma count 1 as number of searches right and i need to do group by also on this so because i need a count based on this value i can say group by value right and i am going to run this 
now we have got the output the only thing pending is we have to do sorting so order by number of searches descending so whatever is searched most should come on the top so this is my result okay so i hope this makes sense i hope this function makes sense it is very useful function especially when you have a comma separated values okay what i am going to do i am going to put create table and insert table statement in the description box you can try out yourself do let me know if you have a better solution i would love to see it do like this video because it will reach maximum people they will learn this new concept and if you really like the liking my video subscribe to my channel thanks for watching have a good day bye